Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bria. This is your first time here. So today's video is going to be a first impression of the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. So a few weeks ago, I took a poll um, on my Facebook and my Instagram page and you guys said you wanted me to review this foundation to see how I like it. Um, so that is what I did. I went out um, last weekend and bought the foundation and the primer. So in this video, you will see me my literal first impression. I haven't opened it or anything. Um, and I'm going to also do a wear test. All right. So if you're interested in seeing how this foundation looks, keep watching. So last weekend I went to Sephora and I bought the new Fenty Beauty foundation. I've been busy. You guys know that I am or may not remember, but I am a teacher. So school is back in session. And it's literally, I hit the ground running. Um, I am over student council, as you guys may remember. And homecoming is literally next weekend. So I'm like, I need to hurry up and get this going. This video uploaded so we can, so everybody will know how this foundation looks and how I like it. Okay, so it comes in the usual Fenty Beauty packaging. And this is the foundation itself. And then this is the new primer. So I believe she came out, she has a total of three primers now. The original, the mattifying, and then this one. Okay, so here's that. So the foundation, your shade should be, it's a one-to-one, -one, meaning that whatever shade you were in the soft matte, you should be that in the hydrating, all right? And this is that packaging. Now, at first, when I saw this, I don't know about you guys, but I thought I was getting less product because... Here is the difference in the two, but it's actually the same, um, I believe the same ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, same ounces. Okay, so that is 32 milliliters or 1.08 fluid ounces. So the foundation is for normal to dry skin, <clears throat> which is true combination. Um, I actually found out recently that I am a true combination, so I'm, which means I am oily in my T-zone, which is from my uh, forehead to my chin, and then I am usually dry in my cheek area um, most of the time. Now, of course, in the winter, your skin can change. I am going for a natural glow look. I just want to do something quick and easy for you guys so you can see how I like the product. Um, I'm not trying anything new, so I'm doing my usual um, makeup routine. Um, the only thing I am using differently is I'm trying a new sponge. This is the Elsie sponge and I've seen um, Makeup Shayla use this before and I'm just trying different sponges out. Okay, so I know I said I was a, I was going to do my normal foundation routine. I forgot that I normally use the Tatcha primer for my uh, as primer. So yeah, I can't do that. So <laughs> I am actually going to use the Fenty, um, what is it called again? Okay, the name's not on there the hydrating primer okay so i'm just gonna shake it a little bit it does say shake well right i'm just gonna apply one pump one generous pump so it's one pump well one and a half probably and i'm just gonna apply this all over my face it smells good um Smells like the original primer, I want to say. Um, the primer feels feels good, real good on my face. I like it. So I don't know if I said what my shade color is. So I am actually 400. Um, I try to use this shade year round. <clears throat> Sometimes um, in the summer, uh, depending on how much sun exposure I get, I do tend to be a little bit darker. But 400 is usually my normal go-to shade. kind of cute <clears throat> so usually I actually apply the product straight to my face and let it warm up and then I go back with the beauty blender or beauty sponge should I say so I'm gonna keep that same energy and try that today well I should probably prime it first okay now and this sponge is damp so now I'm going to apply it all or blend it out. So far, so good. Whew. 
Whew. So Fenty <clears throat> is still hitting us kind of hard with these launches. So we got the hydrating foundation. We got um, some new matchsticks, which I did not buy those. And we got a brow pencil. I don't fill in my brows at all. I just get them waxed and brush them over and I'm done. But I watched Priscilla Ono. Hope, hope I'm saying her last name right. And you can actually use the brow pencil a little bit, even if you have full brows. So, um, yeah, I bought the brow pencil, too, <laughs> last week. I couldn't help it. Um, so I bought two shades. I did dark brown and soft black. Um, I did try the black brown or whatever it's called. And um, I felt it might have been a little gray. So I'm going to try it again and see. Um, but I'm also going to try the soft black. Okay, so I'm moving on to the other side. I actually like this sponge. It's bigger than the Beauty Blender. It is also bigger than the um, egg that I was using from Beauty Bakery. But I liked Beauty Bakery's, the Black Excellence that they came out with. I liked it because um, they were softer than their original Beauty Eggs. And I don't know, I just like softer as in squishier and then you didn't feel like you were literally punching the mess out of your face. So for the sake of this video, I am not going to try the brow pencil. Um, I will actually probably do that in either a in, an Instagram video or I might do a YouTube video. You guys let me know what would you prefer. So with this foundation, um, so far I like the way it looks. I look very dewy-like, which is not a problem for me. I like both the matte and the dewy look. Um, so I'm definitely branching out with trying to look so matte. So this is the perfect um, opportunity to try it. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I like the foundation. I like the feel of it. It is not as drying as the soft matte one. Um, <clears throat> again, the one, the soft matte is probably for normal. Actually, all of them are for any skin type, just depending on how you like to wear your foundation. Me, I like either matte or dewy, so this is fine with me. I'm going to, of course, apply powder, um, the Fenty powder afterwards to see what it looks like. But um, I, like, I like the way I look so far. Um, the color... Like I said, it looks the same. I just look more dewy, so which is, again, fine with me. Um, sometimes you want a more natural glow look, and that's what I'm actually going to do even with um, the rest of my face. So, All right, so now I'm going to use the Fenty Powder in Nutmeg. Okay. I did not lay down a paper towel. <clears throat> so if you guys notice, I um I actually have a vanity space now. I will give you guys a tour of it. Um, my sister helped me remodel this area. This is actually my dining space, and I I live by myself, so <laughs> I don't really need a dining space. Um, so I decided to turn it into my vanity. So I can have better lighting and my film space, things like that. Um, so you can see a little bit behind me in the back. But yes, I'll give you a tour of, the, uh, of that for you guys later. But so happy. I have better lighting in here. I have space to find everything because ugh, before, man, I didn't. It wasn't until I got this desk and this space that I realized how much makeup I have. And I need to do a summer fall cleanup because I have a lot y'all and I'll show you that later as well but Ooh. anyway yes I got foundation on my shirt let it go well this is a dress actually so luckily I'm changing so this is the Sigma um F30 brush now it is a little bit more dense so a lot more powder gets on it um so I literally just dip my brush in the cap I mean in the um powder 
and then I work off the cap but somehow I got a lot of powder in there <laughs> but um, I'll just put it back alrighty let's see oh nope rewind forgot I'm doing my natural glow look and I actually contour with that just a little bit so before I do that let me take the truffle Okay, this is the truffle matchstick. This is what I usually use to contour, or sometimes I'll just use my bronzer as a contour. And I did try and buy the Fenty bronzer, and I'll be using that today as well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit there, and I'm going to apply it in my... eyes just to contour those a little bit so this I did this to help I actually I got this look from uh, makeup Shayla. this is like my go-to look when I'm in a rush I don't have time to beat my face um, all the way down with eyeshadow and stuff um, but I just contour there and blend that out this is my Kat Von D number five brush but um, this makes it once I add the highlight to my eye it actually looks like I have on eyeshadow when I really don't. Um, so like I was saying about the foundations, what they were usually for. So the soft matte, which is the original formula, is usually for probably those are normal to uh, oily skin. And then this one is more hydrating. So people with normal to or combination skin, so normal to dry. Let's see, I don't put too much on here. Actually in school right now at night to become a licensed esthetician so that's another reason why I've been a little idle I am a teacher by day and a student by night so um, four nights out of the week I am probably getting home after dinner o'clock so <laughs> it's a lot to keep up with um, as you can see but hey I'm pushing through I'm surviving all right so Let's go ahead and bronze. Usually I do my highlight first, so let's try that. I don't want to bronze first. I'm a bronze first. I go back and forth. Sometimes I bronze first, sometimes I highlight first. So this is the Fenty Mocha Mommy. Yeah, Mocha Mommy. It's the Fenty Mocha Mommy bronzer. Oops. And I actually I like this bronzer. So I only had I only was using one. It was by ColourPop, but this one is actually pretty good. And this is I'm not sure what brush this is, but it is from ColourPop. I use it for bronzer and blush. This is lightly. A little goes a long way with these blush. I mean, these bronzers. I will say that, at least for me. So this is the um, Fenty Beauty Kilowatt. This is the Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. So it's the Kilowatt foil. Um, I'm actually going to use the Sandcastle one just a little bit to highlight. And again, a little bit goes a long way because these shades tend to be a little bit scary because I feel like they look a little ashy on me. But um, I just dab a little bit. Sometimes I'll wipe it like this on my uh, palm and then just blend it. These are super duper pigmented. Like, I mean, that's just booming right there. Let me go ahead and add my highlight to my eyes. So I literally do one swipe, put it in the center, and then I just go side to side to blend it out. Now you could use your finger, I really don't want to, because so for my nose, I'm just going to dab it in there. 
Um, I don't know if I can tell you about my brushes. So this is the Smith 109 brush. This is the brush I use all the time for my nose highlight, and I did not mean to start there. Oops. Um, <laughs> and then I'll just do a little bit here. And a little bit on Cupid's bow. If you want, you can add highlighter right here in the center of your chin. I'm not going to do that today. I have somewhere to be, so I'm trying to make sure I finish this in time. I actually have some makeup to do. Um, I did not mean to go up that far. So I'm going to use my go-to blush since I'm trying to do my normal everyday things. So I can tell whether I like it or not. And this is um, MAC um, Sweet as Cocoa. Yes, Sweetest Cocoa Mineralized Blush. And it also says Sheer Tone. Okay, so I just literally dip it in that. Dab it all. And get this mirror. And I just put it right there in between um, the highlighter and the bronzer. Or contour. So let me spray my face. Uh, I guess I'm going to use my all nighter. Yeah, I'm going to use all nighter. Sometimes I use Max Fix Plus. But. So I like to go ahead and spray my face and then put on the rest, like my eyeliner, my lipstick, and all that. So yeah, let's spray my face with the all nighter. I want to dry on myself. Okay. So let's try this D Love. Let me see. Oh, wait. Don't want no creasing. Probably should have did that a little bit better, but it's fine. Okay, so I'm trying to see if I update you guys on everything. Um. My sister redid my, decorated my room. Sent, I helped move one of my sisters into college, to her dorm. I'm in school to be a licensed esthetician. Um, I guess I give you you guys a little bit more about why I decided to do that. Um, cause you've seen me apply liner and the rest of this. Uh, before but I always get asked a lot about my skin and how do I keep it so clear and looking good and glowing all the time and honestly it's I don't go to sleep with my makeup that's the number one thing and I just wash it every day whether it's once or twice a day but I wanted to be able to give people more knowledge about how to take care of their skin and I've actually obtained a lot of knowledge and I'm still obtaining. Um, I actually won't be through with my program until um, May of next year but um, I like it a lot and I actually wanted to be able to uh, have a side hustle. I wanted um, to secure another bag so I was like I know makeup um, let me get licensed in something else and I know I take care of my skin but what more can I do so I want to be able to give people facials and waxing and the whole nine like I'm learning a lot and will be licensed to do a lot um, I am I have changed my skincare routine a little bit and I will update you guys another thing that you guys um, did not know I actually launched my website finally and I will link it in the description box but yeah um, stay tuned. I'll be running a blog and probably coming out with some ebooks on how to take care of your skin and things like that. But um, I'm actually enjoying this process of learning new things and becoming more skilled to not limit myself, keep myself in a box to just makeup because um, everybody knows there's a ton of makeup artists, but um, how many people actually have a skin care specialist? Someone who can, you know, make sure their skin is right and treated and everything like that. So. That is why I am going to school. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and then come back. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back. This is the finished look. Um, so far so good. I like it. Um, after I applied the setting spray, everything started to come back a little bit better. Um, I look a little bit more hydrated. Um, but <clears throat> I still do want to try the foundation um without setting powder. Um, or as much setting powder. Remember, I got a little bit carried away. But yeah, I like it. My skin does not feel dry in the least bit um, like I would with the matte. Now, when I say dry, it doesn't feel like matte. Like, I don't feel like I'm just seriously snatched with the mattifying um, formula. But um, yeah, my skin feels normal. It's definitely, I did use only one pump. Um, sometimes I do use two for better coverage. Um... But I, I just feel like I look like myself. So I just a little glammed up. I'm going to come back a little bit later um, to see what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back. Um, my night has ended. It is currently 2.24. Um, so I, overall, I like the foundation. Um, I love the way it makes me look. Um, I look a little glowy, <clears throat> not too matte. Um, remember, I used too much powder, so I would definitely try using less powder. Um, I tried not to blot. I tried my best not to blot, but um, I was on a bicycle. <laughs> so um, I was sweating, and so I did, you know, wipe my face here and there where I was sweating. But as you can see, I am shiny um, right here around my nose actually in my whole nose area but that's basically about it um maybe a little bit right here but again it doesn't bother me I'm used to it um I do have the Fenty um blot papers and so I normally I would just blot my nose um or even just bake that'll solve that problem too um but I didn't do that um so let me go ahead and blot right now and see if you can see a friend. So that's what it looks like with me blotting. Um, so actually, I did not tell you guys the time that I started filming. So it was about 4 o'clock-ish, somewhere around there, between 3.30 and 4 um, before I ended. So from 4 until now, the foundation held up very well. Um, looking at myself in my mirror, I like it. Um, I still look natural, which is my, you know, my go-to favorite um, look. There were times I forgot that I had on foundation which is always a good thing for those that like you know just a light finish so that's it I am going to wipe this makeup off and get ready for bed because I'm tired um so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to follow me on all social media I will put everything in the description box um products included um be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and subscribe to my blog on my website. Um, I'm going to start posting on there regularly. And um, I'm going to have an email list starting soon. So you guys don't want to miss what I have coming up next. So be confident, smile, and slay.